Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our series of video related to Tally's release 6.1. We are covering the major feature of 6.1, which is related to GST and the GST feature that is provided is IMS. So we have been seeing how we can use the Tally's capability for IMS reconciliation and we also saw in our previous video the techniques that we can apply using the basis of value. So let us continue with the basis of value and also we will see what are the different ways that we can take action regarding the supplier invoice downloaded along with the invoices that we have already accounted. Let us go to tally and explore the feature of IMS. In the previous video, we explored the configuration related to basis of value. Let us continue with one more configuration that we left out last time. And we also learned steps to update the status of invert supply invoices such as accepted, pending or rejected for each of the invoices. If you recall, in the previous video, we had rejected one invoice and kept one invoice pending. So let us now use this basis of value to see the pending invoices or the rejected invoices. So that is where the configuration of basis of value is going to help us. So let me click on basis of value, come down here, click here, and now let us select pending and just press escape. And we will notice that one single invoice that we had kept pending is listing here. You can click here and go down to the next level. Let us say that now you want to change the status of this invoice from pending to accepted. So how do we do that? Click on FI voucher wise. When you click here on voucher wise, we will get the list of the vouchers. And here now you will see on the right hand side, there is this option called set action status. You can click here and then press space bar and now select accepted and you accept. Similarly, for any invoice, whatever is the action that you have set, you can always go to that and then you can reset your action status. Now, if you want to see the rejected invoices, again, we can come here, click on basis of value. And this time, instead of pending, just click here and select rejected and you can just press Control A or escape and we will see this one invoice which is rejected. Now let us learn how can we set the action for multiple invoices. Let us change the configuration to all statuses basis of value come down here and select all statuses and we have the list of all the vouchers. The easiest and the faster way is navigate and come up here for action required. So there are 17 invoices where action has not been taken. So let's click here and now you will see that these are the invoices that have been reconciled. So these invoices, we have to now set the status. So how do we do that for all these invoices at one go? Just click on the first invoice here and hold the shift button and click on the down arrow. We will select continuous invoices. Once you have selected the required number of invoices, all you have to do is you see here on the right hand side, you have this button called set action status. Click on set action status, press space bar. And all you have to do is select accepted. And once you enter accepted, these invoices will go into the accepted bucket. Come back. So now the number of count is reduced. So which means it says now action taken and ready for upload is 37 invoices. So if you want to see the list of invoices, all you have to do is select action taken ready for upload. And here we will see what are the different status of action that we have taken. The rejected one is here. The one which we had kept pending is now gone into the accepted bucket. And here you can select any particular invoice. Just select RJ Traders 
And if you see here on the right hand side, you also have this GST portal view. Click on GST portal view and this is going to give you the portal view of information. Here again, remember the blue font are portal data and black is our data. So this is the portal data. We have also have the same information here. That's how we had reconciled and accepted this particular invoice. In the additional information, you will also see that the party has filed the return GSTR one also. Just remember to explore the right side button bar for further analysis. Escape. Now let us assume that you have taken required action for all invert supply invoices in tally. Now we have to upload these invoices back to GST portal to update the IMS dashboard on the portal. How do we upload? All we have to do is just click on exchange and from the option of all GST option, select upload IMS invoices and we will get the list of all the invoices that have been accepted by us and also the invoices which have been rejected or the invoices that have been kept pending. So you will see here that there is one voucher which is rejected and the pending one we had converted to accepted. Again, explore the right side button bar for more analysis before uploading. Once done, all we have to do is click on send and just press enter and just press enter and you will get an OTP to validate enter and just enter the OTP that we have received. So now it is getting uploaded to the portal. Now this is where you have this information which says successfully it has been uploaded and now you can click on recompute GSTR to be so that whatever is the action that you have taken basically your action of rejected and pending will get updated and it will automatically update your gstr 2b also and here when you click on recompute it will recompute the values in gstr 2b so you will get the message that it is recomputed successfully for the month of may 25 so we can download the gstr 2b also after recompute once it is uploaded and once you have updated the gstr 2b you will get this message which says that there are no invoices which are ready for upload. Just in case, let's say you want to view the list of invoices that has been uploaded. All you have to do is you see here on the right hand side button bar, you have include uploaded. Click on include uploaded and we will see the list of invoices that we have uploaded. Kindly note that the IMS reconciliation status update and uploading of the invoices back to the portal can be done on a daily basis or periodic basis before you file your GSTR 3B. I hope the understanding of how critical and useful is the basis of value and also we saw that how we can do a bulk action of any kind of status update using multiple vouchers. Once we have completed the reconciliation part of it, how are we going to upload the IMS data that we have reconciled on the GST portal? So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.